Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to the Fuel Tech USA YouTube channel. And behind me, I have a Toyota AE86 powered by a 2J. Let's check it out. Alrighty, so guys, that was a wild run. Lewis, what can you tell us about that run? <laughs> Pretty different. Okay. Pretty different. Like not something that we used to see here, right? Yeah. Like um, not because we like domestic the most. We like every single kind of car, right? Yeah, every absolutely. kind of motor. But it's 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 different to see Pro Line actually involved with our two JZ. Yeah. I don't even know all the people involved in putting this together, but I know that we have like Lascano working on the motor. Wow. RK. Right, so the guys that do domestic stuff, RK work on this car as well. Obviously, everyone at Proline have their hands on, either wiring, plumbing, whatever. So it's it's a nice, nice, nice vehicle overall, with or without the front cover. And uh, we just finished trying to do just like a quick baseline. Steve Petty was here. He ran away. He didn't went to to appear on the video, but Steve Petty was here. Brandon was here. All those guys were here. They just like run away from the cameras when we start talking. But the thing is, this this thing is pretty cool. It's a beast. Single 88 turbo, right? They did not told me if they're gonna race big tires or small tires. I don't know. 
but I do know that this thing makes like 1900 horses to the wheel and we didn't even push it. Like, wow. think about like power, like for a tiny motor, this has less than 200 cubic inches. Wow. That's you know, insane. that's a tiny motor, but like, and uh, opposed to what everyone thinks, it doesn't rev like crazy, right? Like yeah. it, it revs, I believe like nine grand. So it's a little bit more than a V8, but it's really small. So like it's still pushing a lot of torque. We made over 60 pounds of boost on the dyno to try to achieve those numbers. And we think we do have a little bit more on the gas, you know, like we, we can have some more power. Uh, regular build, so Mark Mickey, three speed transmission. Uh, let's take a look at the transmission. MP. Yeah. Guys, let's go inside of this car. So like a regular Mark Mickey, three speed transmission, Mark Mickey shifter, right? So like, this is really easy on the driver. A Turbo 400 and a Glide, those transmissions, one of the best thing that they have is like so easy for the driver. Uh, there's no other pedal, obviously there's not a clutch, it's a converter style, but it's so easy to put in gear, to shift during the burnout, you know, to the reverse, like, there is yeah. no complications about how to put in gear, take out a gear or whatever. Like it's a really simple deal. Absolutely. So we, we see the switch panel upstairs. Oh yeah, there it is right there. Yeah, yeah I think we don't have power right now. And that's the, the switch the panel 8 mini, guys. Yeah, so switch panel 8 mini right here. Then we have a main power. They have the main power off back on the car. Regular trans brake. Then you have like chutes and stuff Some like that. Like there. staging control, right? Cool. Uh, 600 right here. Mount Some drivers. Garage. Uh, white bandana, single O2, some relay. So like you see, it's like a really simple, clean, neat install on this car. So I bet this thing is really light. I don't know the weight, but I bet it's pretty light. CO2 bottle and a small nitrous bottle. They use this thing just to like to spool up. Wow. So like since the motor is it's small and it's still pushing a bunch of power until the turbo jumps in, there's nothing. Wow. Right? Okay. So this thing here at the dyno, we were pushing about 40 pounds of boost on two step. Holy crap. So it needs the nitrous to try to get some RPM and starts pulling the turbo. Also, the, the turbo is pulled, the nitro goes off. As soon as I let go of the bottom, the nitrous go backwards. So different from a nitrous car, mm -hmm. instead of go on, it goes off. Wow. Right, so it's on, on two step, and then that's about it. And we get it. Like, wow. Did you show the guys, show the guys that this is so short of a wheelbase? Oh yeah, you guys. It? It's so short. The, the door will not clear. <laughs> you can barely get your yeah, hand so there. You cannot close the door. We have to do like an engineering adaptation right here. We, <laughs> we put a small piece of foam that will hold the door. To hold the door open. Yeah. yeah, this is an absolutely brand new build. I don't believe this car has been on the ground yet, Lewis. Is uh, that correct? No, I think it just, it just push it around. So yeah. I don't think you ever move on its own. Yeah. You know, you just push around to put over here. Start doing some laps, some runs, and making sure everything works. Now Steve Perry is going to do his magic at the mm -hmm. track. Make it let's, hook. Yeah, let's see how fast this baby goes. Yeah, absolutely. So guys, if you like this kind of content, please don't forget to like, subscribe, head over to the Fuel Tech website that you can see those products that we mentioned in the video and get them for yourself. So I'll see you at the race. Later.